It's your birthday, bud. I should have written the balloon the other way. Good morning, everybody. Today is Bandit's birthday, if you can't tell by the balloon on his collar. But Dad and Andrew are over at the grain bins trying to get an auger set up on the bean bin that we're going to put beans into this year. And then we're hopefully going to be able to harvest this champion soybean plot across the road this morning. We've got a few things that we got to do. I got to get this trailer unhooked so we can move the head. Got to get the combine ready to go. And then we also got to go get a grain cart that's got scales on it from the neighbors so I can get that monitor tuned in perfectly. We'll take you along today. Enjoy the video. Okay, that's done. Now I gotta go pull out all the signs marking each one of the hybrids and the treatment that they have on them. Wind's been wreaking havoc on those. They keep falling down. So here we go. I just picked the first calibration bit. Uh, they get this monitor calibrated. We went and got the uh, my neighbor's grain cart, so thank you, Jimmy, for letting us use his grain cart because he's got scales on it, so I should be able to calibrate this monitor pretty darn accurately to get good data off of this champion seed soybean, soybean plot. Let's get at it. What we did is we just went and picked about 9,000 pounds of soybeans, so we're running back up here to the cart. Andrew will hop out and zero the cart out. We'll dump it on there. And then we'll uh, enter the actual weight of the soybeans. So that's kind of how we test how accurate we're being. That's what we like to see for our load average, 0.3% error. That's pretty darn good for the Ag Leader deal. So we are out here picking this now. And in between each strip, which are 60 foot strips, I left a 30 inch gap because these are 15 inch row beans. And that's how I know where to pick on this plot is going down the 30 inch row. Okay, let's show you guys kind of the process here. First thing I'm going to do is take the moisture sample. So then I had to write it down. I had to treat it three fives at 14.2% moisture. So it's definitely wetter than the uh, untreated three fives, but that's to be expected. But then I'm ending the, cal uh, the grain calibration on it. I'm gonna change the name on it real quick to something simple like treated three five, so our T35. And it supposedly had 13,807 pounds on it. And right now we're at 0.03 of a load error. So now I've gotta jump out, make sure the scale's zeroed, and then unload onto the cart. Zero it. Okay, then I've been doing this the same on every load. It's basically ran out. There's still some in weird places in the tank, but I have not been like trying to shake that out, so that's been consistent too. Now I gotta hop out and see what the weight is on the cart. 13,980. We'll go put that in the monitor. Actual 13,980 check mark. So now I write down the rest of the information. That's all I'm going to write in here for right now because my dad and Andrew are actually out getting another truck. And I don't know if he's shrinking it for the total bushels from 14% to down to the 13 or what he's doing on that. So I'll leave that information up for him. But that's what we're doing for every load. And we'll be able to get really accurate accounts right now. But currently it looks like not adjusted for moisture. 
that the treatment did three bushels of the bet eight three bushels of the acre better wet spot so what i'm showcasing here in this plot is the hybrids from champion seed that work in our area and on our soil types the other thing that i'm testing on this plot is the treatment that we put onto our beans to see if there's a yield response there and i did that on two different hybrids i talk about it in one of the videos and then also i ran a vertical tillage tool across the at a diagonal on this to see if there's a yield response in that and we'll be able to see that on the yield monitor as well we're hoping to gain some good information from this well guys it's uh 6 15. we finally have gotten the 13 percent moisture on our soybean here today kind of took them a long time but the plot is out the gopro battery has died so once we get done harvesting here tonight i'll go home i'll compile all the data when i make this video and i'll go over it with you guys Good morning, everybody. We're down here in the office this morning. Bandit's getting his last bit of uh, snoozes in before we head into work. But we got all the data compiled, so I'm gonna give you I'll give out a few thank yous first here. Thank you for Jimmy for letting us use the grain cart. That helped us out tremendously. Thank you for my dad for letting me put the soybean plot in on his land and even clearing out the fence row and putting the seeding down some acres to give a really nice looking plot there. And thank you to Andrew for helping me put that soybean plot in. I know it was a lot of work. So the hybrid that won the plot was the treated 3-5 soybeans. And they ended up bushelling out at 76.6 bushels to the acre. The yield response that we saw on the treatment on an average between the two hybrids that we tested was 3.325 bushels to the acre increase on the treated soybeans. That taught us since this plot was planted on the sixth, uh, on six six, that even treating your soybeans later on still pays. We we feel, or as and me and my father feel, that the earlier you planted your soybeans, the more yield you will, response you will get. And also, there was no sudden death syndrome present in the field where we think the yield response would have even been even higher. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Always consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. And Bandit and I will see you on the next one. Give me a thumbs up. I got an alley this morning. Wow, that sucker hurt. I'm on light duty today, camera duty. See that? That's a big old blood cluster. But I, it'd feel better if you give it a thumbs up. I'm walking around like this.